based on what we have discussed for families of circle, we can conclude that R is equal to a constant, which I will let with um, alphabet A here, or R is equal to B sine theta or B cosine theta will produce families of circle. Alright, so like right now, let's take a look at how to sketch families of Limacon. This is the general equation that will produce families of Limacon, such as R is equal to A plus minus B sine theta, or R is equal to A plus minus B cosine theta. Okay, so right now, you will see that there are quite a number of uh, different types when it comes to families of Limacon, where the first one we can have Limacon with inner loop whenever the ratio of A and B is less than 1. When A and B is equal to 1, it will produce uh, Limacon, special Limacon, where we call it as cardioid. As you can see from the next type, of limacon, you can either have dimple limacon and convex limacon, and then how you classify uh, whether you will have what type of limacon, you can do it by identifying the ratio of A and B. Okay, um, this time around, I'm not going to relate it with a uh, curve in two dimensional coordinate system, so we will take it as it is, such as this. Two general equation will produce limacon, either limacon with inner loop, cardioid, dimple limacon, or convex limacon. So from this example, all right. So I think we can move forward with the example straight away. Okay, um, let's try to sketch uh, limacon with inner loop. Okay, so given to you, R is equal to R is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine theta. So as you can see from this expression, the value of A is equal to 2 and the value of B is equal to 3. And then you find the ratio between these two values, 2 over 3, obviously less than 1. So when this happens, it should trigger to you that you will end up sketching a limacon with inner loop. So when this happens, you try to sketch your polar curve first, exist in polar curve. And then, if you cannot remember uh, whether it will lies or whether you will sketch a polar curve, which right now we are trying to sketch a limacon with inner loop, either it will lie heavily towards the first and fourth quadrant or second and third quadrant. So in this case, what should I do? I need to evaluate the values of R for every possible values of theta. So right now, here I know that this is the place for theta equal to 0, theta is equal to pi over 2, theta is equal to pi, Theta is equal to 3 pi over 2. And also, theta is equal to 2 pi. So, when theta is equal to 0, R is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine 0. So, cosine 0 is equal to 1, you will get 5. So, 5, 0. And then, when theta is equal to pi over 2, R is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine pi over 2. Cosine pi over 2 is equal to 0, equal to 2. Therefore, you will end up having 2 pi over 2. Okay, you can do for the rest of the value of theta, such as theta is equal to pi, R is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine pi, you will get negative 1. So in this case, I will get 1 pi, negative 1 pi. So if I try to 
uh, evaluate the value of r when theta is equal to 3 pi over 2 so i will get r is equal to 2 plus 3 cosine 3 pi over 2 which i will get 2 back so in this case again i will sketch the polar curve axis and then i know that the value here is 5 perhaps 2 perhaps somewhere 2 and 1 pi if 1 pi is somewhere over here so it should be the reflection along the same line because right now we are talking about negative 1 pi so this is negative 1 when it comes to this curve and then I try to connect and then it should look like what you have uh, on the screen on the left part so by right you just uh, make use of whatever you have in the slide presentation and then you try to uh, give some meaning behind it later so perhaps I will end up getting this type of uh, limacon with inner loop so if you do a lot of exercises you don't have to go through like what I have demonstrated earlier uh, what I did earlier is just to give you reason why it end up having this type of uh, limacon with inner loops. You will uh, know that what will happen if you have 2 minus 3 cosine theta. So when you have 2 minus 3 cosine theta, it should be the reflection. Perhaps some somewhere like this. Okay, let me improve my sketching. Okay, the value here should be 2, 2, 5. Okay, you can see how the operation will give you different uh, position of Limacon with inner loop. Okay. For example, what will happen if you have r is equal to 2 plus 2 sine theta? Okay, 2 plus 2 sine theta. Mm, you have to calculate the ratio first. In this case, the value of a is equal to 2. The value of b is equal to 2. So, 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So, when this happens, it will fall under category special Macon, which you have to sketch car so in this case please rem remember what I mentioned earlier uh, at the early part of the video such as this will produce a cardioid and this cardioid will be symmetric about y axis so it will be something like what you can see over here but since right now we have 2 plus 2 instead of 5 minus 5 so you can relate with this graph so you will end up having a special limacon where we call it cardioid the value here is 2 2 and 4 so this is very important for you right after you sketch your graph in polar coordinate you should be able to level them so it, it will tell us that you really understood the process on uh, how to graph curve in polar coordinates.